So I finally finished up my game that I've been working on the uh, last couple of months um, and I would like to show it off. So I could just start by running it up here. Uh, I have the default display settings, I've swapped out the image and uh, yeah, pretty much as is. So I'm just gonna change the resolution to match the screen I'm recording right now, which is uh, 1280 times 720. And uh, let me adjust that a little bit. So when the game starts up, um, I have the default menu. Uh, I have the option to mute and unmute uh, any sound effects, but for this uh, run through, I want to have some sounds on. Um, in the settings tab, uh, I made it optional to swap up the keys for controlling the uh, game. And um, as you might uh, guess already, the game. Uh, main character is, is actually an excavator that you're driving around and the idea is that you're gonna catch uh, branches that are placed all around in uh, in the map may uh, placed hard to find and um, some of them are even hard to get to so you have to like use the whole excavator to, to, to catch those wrenches uh, using the, the, uh, the boom here and the arm and, and stretching it out and reaching difficult places. So I'm just going to go back to the settings again and uh, enable the cab rotation. I'm just going to set those keys. They are not set by default because usually it's really frustrating if uh, the cab is turned and you don't quite know what direction you're going. But uh, I've been playing this uh, for quite some time now since I'm, since I started developing it, so uh, hopefully it will go okay. So I have the default loading screen that I made in Paint, um, and uh, here's the first map. I'm using the chase camera attached to the excavator that comes with JMonkey uh, to control around. Uh, I duplicated it and I test the icon so I can have a dragging icon. Looks a little bit more uh, cozy, I, I would say. Um, okay, so in this particular map, you can see some of the wrenches. It begins really easy, uh, and it contains four wrenches in total. So uh, better go start the hunt. So when, when I'm catching these wrenches, the, uh, the GUI is updated with the wrench count and I can use the whole excavator to catch them. Uh, just to illustrate, for, for, for instance, I can drive through them and not catch them. Now I just bumped into the belt so, so it's okay. And uh, also I can use the, the bucket or the arm to catch them. So we'll continue around the corner and grab the last one. And so now we're loading to the uh, second and last map. The difficulty is increased a little bit. We have a range count of 8 now, and so we can just start by moving around and catching those. I can see one straight up there. As you can see, I've taken the excavator model from uh, Google SketchUp um, uh, and I have basically no control of how this is rendered either than parts that I move around and so it would be desirable to have the belts moving but I didn't quite manage that so I added some uh, some particle effects instead to simulate the, the movement uh, so, so, so you can see some grinding when it's rotating and uh, and backing up. Over here is probably the first difficult as, uh, difficult assignment uh, because you're not allowed to drive straight forward in, in, in the ditch because it would cause the excavator to, to bounce over so I restricted it completely. So this is a little bit annoying effect, this collision detection, but 
it's what I got working. So now it's uh, time to, to pick up the wrench. Let me see. Ah, there I got it. And also around here I've played some, placed some more boxes that you can't drive through. And it should be a couple of more wrenches hidden here. Yeah. I'm no great modeler, so basically any model you can see here is grabbed from Google SketchUp. Uh, I hope anyone isn't doesn't get mad uh, that I've taken them without permission, but I don't think this game will ever see uh, that many eyes either, so hopefully it will be okay. Uh, over here we have a wall that's built, so you just drive through it. There should be a new there, yeah. And uh, there should be one last wrench hiding around here. Uh, can't see it from, from the open eye, but it's actually hidden inside the sewer. And to grab it, a little bit tedious, but hey, it's supposed to be a little bit tricky. You can actually go inside it, so I guess it's not that fair play. I am, and, and before, oh, there was that rotating cap. Let me see, I'm going all the way around. Oh, that's nasty. Okay, so let's drive a little bit up here, see if we can grab it. Alright, so I finally catch the last uh, wrench and I'm taking to the winning screen. Um, basically what this is is uh, uh, 10 images that I've uh, added some blur effect to text and I'm looping them around. So. You could go back to the start screen. So what you're going to be left with here is that congratulations, you finally <laughs> got all the wrenches. All right. Thank you for watching. And uh, if you have any questions about um, how anything is done and so on, feel free to ask me, and I will help you out as uh, much as I possible can.